what is the lesson that uh, is to be conveyed here from this poem? So it is about importance of even small things in life, right? And we have to learn accept loss. So loss of materialistic things. And otherwise also we are going to suffer losses in life. We're going to experience loss. And uh, yes, uh, the boy, he loses that ball. And it is a symbolism here. The ball is there and he's lost the ball. And uh, people, they want him to grow up also. They want him to learn also. If you have your books, please take out your books. And uh, let me share the screen with you all. Then we'll just discuss the poem with you, right? Is it visible? Yes, it is visible now. Who is the poet? John Berry Mann. And uh, two poems are there by Robert Frost. Yes? Which are the poems by Robert Frost? Fire and Ice, Dust of Snow. And the Tiger in the Zoo is by Leslie Norris. Okay? And ball poem is by John Berryman. So this much we can remember. Four poets we can learn. In four options are there. You must remember two are there by Robert Frost. Okay? And uh, now here, let us discuss about the ball poem. All of you look at the text here. I have told you the message that has been conveyed. It's about loss. We lose things in life. And every loss, any incident that happens in the life, it is to teach us an important lesson. Right? What are the lessons that the child should learn from the loss of this ball? How did it happen? What was the incident that happened? What, was it, what happened there? He was playing with the ball and the ball, it just bounced and uh, it just went and fell into the harbor. It is difficult to take the ball out from the harbor. Why? What's the harbor? The ships, they uh, come to rest, you know, we say that, right? And uh, why is it difficult? The ships are so big, you can't find the ball. Is it? All water is there. Water is there. The ball must have fallen to the water, it fell into the water, and it is difficult to take it out, right? Yes. And the child there, you know, it was in complete shock about what has happened, right? The poet just standing there and wants the child to learn the lesson that balls are going to be lost, right? That means loss is going to happen, and you are going to lose small things, big things. And uh, yes, yeah, so some people will say, so what? It's only a ball. You buy a new one. You can. It's very easy. But can you replace the earlier one? No. Because the child has a lot of beautiful memories, mm -hmm. right? And can money bring back memories? No. no, money cannot bring back memories, right? So there are things that the child has to learn. What is it? It's about memories. Yes. That they cannot be replaced. Second is money cannot buy everything. Even small things, you know, money cannot replace. Money cannot replace. Maybe the physical object would be there. But the memories that are associated, they cannot be replaced. Right? So we're learning about the importance of loss in our lives. Whenever loss happens, we're going to, you know, like life, they teaches us so many things. And this pandemic, what has happened? People had never thought that so many things are going to happen in their life. And when we read about so many people losing their lives, losing their near and dear ones, young ones unexpectedly going away. So bearing that loss. So we have to move on in life. We have to stand up. We have to be strong. We have to get up and move on. Because life does not stop, right? So he is there telling that. So never mind. You know what happens is that immediately, like, of course, yes, sir, your, you know, a toy breaks. And what happens? We try to compensate that with another one. Immediately the child starts crying. Or why we can't see the child crying? Let's buy a new one. 
but what are we doing are we letting the child grow are we letting the child learn a lesson so behind those tears behind that sadness let the child learn a lesson no parent likes to see their child in tears right no one wants to see their child suffering but it is sometimes important to learn the meaning of loss right if something gets replaced easily will you learn its true meaning no you will not right so it is important here that yes loss has to be a part of life it's a part of growing up right so this is there he says money is external money is not so important money cannot buy everything right so let him learn and he must learn in one day in life he has to learn he has to learn to bear losses he has to learn to move on he has to understand the true meaning of loss and the true meaning of loss he will not learn if we replace the ball right will he learn the true meaning of loss no he's got a new one and he's happy i'll continue playing right but why was that old one so significant because he had it since his childhood he had a lot of memories with it he had played with it for a long time and he is you know like going to miss that so unless and until we don't give that moment for him unless it is not a punishment right you think the way the poet is behaving he wants to punish the child is it a punishment no he saying by delaying that need you know by telling the child that it is not easy to replace us we are teaching the child a very important lesson in life right okay now look at the poem here all of you come and look at the poem and let us understand uh, its uh, structure and about the devices which have been used here underline meaning you all know that you know the meaning of let me just pick up a, a few words what does bounce mean bouncing bouncing yeah it is they're moving you know that will go jumping right rolling down the street okay rigid rigid uh, stiff why is he so stiff was that loss he can't move are what happened ye kya ho gaya that kind of a reaction are you able to react immediately you wondering right so rigid stiffness right trembling trembling shaking yes we shake with fear we shake with grief we don't shake with grief we do we tremble with fear also we tremble when we are scared also yes right harbor you all know what is the meaning of harbor yes what does intrude mean intrude intrude i would not intrude on him yes intrude means interference interference okay right so we are there talking about yeah the poet thinks that uh, i might be interfering it's a personal moment for him he's learning things and if i just go and start telling him right maybe i'm interfering in his life which i should not do he's saying i will not go and tell him okay never mind young boy you'll get a new toy you'll get a new ball and uh, let it go right so no it is not there what is a dime dime is a currency it's a currency right so even if you understand here what is dime dime is currency right so yeah so you have the us currency you can say that okay right what are possessions possessions you possess something possessions the things we own right our belongings okay yes now there's a word which you all should know the epistemology of loss epistemology yes how is it we will understand it we will learn the meaning of loss when we have experienced loss so this whole poem is about understanding the meaning of loss okay right now look at the first two lines all of you those at home you have can see the screen those in the classroom can look at their books what is the boy now 
who has lost his ball what what is he to do first and second line what is the boy now what what is he to do what what is this repetition what what is repetition yes so if i say what in the first line and what in the second line and a for it can be there but in the same line if the repetition is there it is repetition alliteration is repetition of a sound okay and that was consonant sound what is the repetition of a vowel sound as a means very good now merrily bouncing down the street merrily means happily what is happy to bounce down the street ball how can a ball feel happy when it is personified okay merrily bouncing down the street so please note this down merrily over and so happy the ball was that it went and fell in the water right so here merrily bouncing down the street merrily khushi se who is jumping around the ball khushi kaise hogi jab humne usko personify kiya isn't it right so merrily over there it is in the water no use to say oh there are other balls don't say that please don't say right you get it you are don't worry we are not going to say that because we want to teach the young boy a lesson right an ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy fixes the boy where is the boy fixed now on the spot can't move because he is so shocked mummy se daant padegi is it no or is going to cry will i get a new one right i'm going to throw tantrum that i might get a new one we do that yes please i want a new one but no because of his grief what an ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy he is shaking with pain he is with sorrow he is lost right he stands rigid trembling staring down where is he staring at the water right where he, the ball has gone and all his young days into the harbor all his young days is he an old boy all his young days talk about what his memories or his childhood memories right so yes so this ball it is also symbolic of his childhood he's lost his childhood with that because he's learned a lesson of life right so all his young days what has disappeared along with the ball his young days right his memories the beautiful moments he spent there playing his childhood moments right went into the harbor where his ball went so where has the ball gone into the harbor you know what the harbor is right okay i would not intrude on him so is the boy doing a sensible thing or is he being very strict he's doing a sensible thing because he wants to teach the boy a lesson what does intrude intrude means to interrupt inter interfere what is the boy thinking right now what thoughts are going on in his mind is he happy or is he sad sad he is grieving over the loss of his the ball right he's sad and so he wants him to go through that moment he wants him to experience that loss so he's saying i am not disturbing the boy i am not interrupting his thoughts i am not interfering in his chain of thoughts okay i would not intrude him he says i will not intrude him and say a dime another ball is worthless he's not going to say that right it is useless now to saying that a dime another ball dime for another ball it is worthless why should i why should i go and interrupt and tell him that see because the ball is not very expensive we can buy another one but no we are not going to say that now he senses first responsibility in a world of possession see till the full stop it is one line who senses first responsibility the boy the boy boy who is i over here 
I would not intrude. The poet is there, okay? And who has the poet been observing? The boy, right? So who is the speaker of this poem? Is it the boy or the poet? Poet is there. But what is the poet describing? About the boy, he's describing experience. So please remember this. So I would not intrude. I is the speaker. I is the poet, right? Who is observing the boy from a distance, right? And he says now he senses first responsibility. Who is he over here? The little boy, right? The boy who lost his ball, right? And he's disappeared into the harbor. In a world of possessions. A world of possessions. Is there any device over here? This world is like one that is full of materialistic things. The world is a materialistic place. Right? Is there anything? Can you say it is a metaphor here? Yes? Right? That what is this world made of? Possessions. Things that we own. What are possessions? What we have. Right? Uh, how many cars you have? Do you have a big house? Do you have a small house? How many diamonds and jewels and refrigerators and pets and beds and homes? All these things you own. Right? This is what we have reduced the world to. Right? Which should not be. Okay? In a world of possessions. People will take balls. Balls will be lost always, little boy. Who is speaking over here? Who is he speaking to? The little boy, yes. The boy at the harbor. Balls, balls will be lost always. Balls, balls. Repetition. Balls will be lost always. Burr, burr, burr. Which sound? Burr sound, alliteration, okay? That is also there. So either way, you can write it down. Be very, very clear. Look at the options that are there, fine? So balls will be lost always, little boy. See burr there in the last also, burr, right? Fine? So here, right, when we talk about alliteration, although we do focus on it, has to be a consecutive word there. Repetition has to be there. But sometimes what happens, yes, there might be another word, in, but the sound which is often repeated, the repetition of that sound, can, okay? No one buys a ball back. A ball back. Again, alliteration, ball back. If I say there is assonance also, and no one buys a ball back. Can you underline the vowels? Can you? Look at them. Shandra, look at your book. Not that the cover and you have the wrong book. Yes. We're not doing footprints without feet. Okay. And no one buys a ball back. Is there a repetition of vowel sounds? Yes. Yes or no? What do we call repetition of vowel sounds? As an end, please write it down. Full of vowels, this nine is. So as an end. And no one buys a ball back. Money is external. Why is money external? Money is external. World of possessions. These are two different thoughts. Aren't they? Money is external. Money is not important right now. Word of possessions. We're living in a world where we count our possessions. Isn't it? Look at it. So very two contrasting ideas. So he's saying, let us not bring money into the question. Money is external here. He is learning. Who is learning? The boy. What is he learning? Well behind his desperate eyes. Saddened eyes. Eyes there. Searching for the ball, eyes full of tears, eyes which are sad. What is he learning? The epistemology of loss. What has he understood? The meaning of loss. How to stand up. 
stand up means what is he a toddler that he learns needs to learn to stand up what is stand up how to be courageous absolutely very right dro how to stand up after loss we have to stand up stand up so that we are on our feet again we are brave we are courageous we are ready to face the losses in our life okay because it is not only one thing that is going to happen there are so many this is the beginning knowing what every man must one day know what the, should I, or what is that one thing that every man must know understanding loss and what are we supposed to do after losses happen we have to be brave we should learn to stand up move on and must know many days how to stand up once again how to stand up not literally not literally but how to get courage how to be strong so it's a small thing a little incident teaching a very big life lesson is it clear yes right is there a rhyme scheme ball go then water balls boy down where him now i i don't see any rhyme scheme do you no so it is free verse blank verse okay but yes what is it that makes it poetry what makes it poetry so we'll discuss it another day what is there the components of that okay so please go through all the exercises which are there go through the questions there which are given in the text right bhavin can you tell me something that you've done today tell me the message of the ball poem please tell me stand up and speak i i can't hear you speak louder yes money can't buy back our memories how should we learn a lesson what lesson have we learned loss will happen in our life and we should learn to stand up and be courageous and brave okay so we have to be strong we have to be brave in the face of losses okay is it clear any doubts any questions at all any one of you anyone any doubts any questions no no one has any doubts what is the central idea of fire and ice what is the message of fire and ice yes if it is not about the earth so keep the screenshots with you okay keep the screenshots with you if the need arises i might ask for it okay right and uh, yes you can write your admission num number along with your name so as to uh, stop uh, the what you can say not the elements which <laughs> have access to that it's one of you only it's not someone from outer space coming no aliens are coming and attempting the test for you you are doing it only you're creating problems for yourself only yes so fire and ice is it only the world coming to an end or is it that uh, anything can come to an end so it's not only the earth coming to an end fire and ice is there yes but the poet is more focusing on the earth right what does fire represent fire are the violent uh, emotions anger the way we express right anger violence uh, right you have outburst uh, you are hurting someone what is ice jealousy hatred okay yes uh, the problem that we have oh my god what is this person doing i am so jealous of that person isn't it right so fire and ice these are emotions so we don't need weapons we don't need weapons to bring an end to that our emotions are enough so if, how can humanity come to an end if there is a problem no one comes forward to help each other it is the end 
right? So we don't need bombs. We don't need uh, massive uh, weapons here. But our emotions are enough to bring them in. Your behavior can end a relationship. Yes or no? Yes. Kind words nurture it, but your emotions here, your anger, it destroys it. So similarly, the earth is there, something which our emotions can bring the end to. Okay, right? I yes. So I I think so. With an end, we are coming to an end of this period.